In Nebraska and across the nation, Ron Hall is a guiding force in public broadcasting. He believes in the power of good storytelling to educate and entertain. Since the advent of public television, he has connected people to their history, culture, and to each other. John G. Neihart, Nebraska's Poet Laureate in Perpetuity, appeared in many programs on NET from the early 1960s until the year before his death in 1973. In this moment from our archives, Dr. Neihart is speaking of life essentials at age 92. This was the last program we recorded with this great Nebraskan. Do you feel that there is a special relationship between people who love the land and the land? Oh, I mean, indeed, indeed. Is this important? It's a, it's a mystical relationship. It's a religious relationship in, the, in the, the true sense of religion. There's something divine about the earth. The earth is our mother, and we depend on the earth for everything. We don't live uh, with spiritual ideas so much, although the times are changing. There is far more interest now in spiritual matters than there was 50 years ago. It, it's the uh, mood of the time that determines what people will think. Are you optimistic then? Oh, sure. Never sell the human race short. It's foolish to do that because you can never get enough data to render a just judgment. You can't do it. Just simply Take it on faith and uh, notice how many noble things there are in men in spite of the meanness that you see. And anyway, I'm getting close to her. Rumors of the flesh and whisperings of the spirit tell me that I am approaching the time of great change. And I think that will be a wonderful thing. I'm Ron Hull, remembering this icon of American literature recorded and preserved by NET.